Okay, in this video we're going to look at creating some number lines that correspond to different inequalities. So in part A here we have x less than or equal to 2. So there's the x coordinate of 2. I always stick negative infinity and positive infinity on there as well. And you can certainly label some more numbers. The convention is, since it's less than or equal to 2, since it can equal 2, we use a, a solid dot at that value. Okay? And then it says we shade everything that's less than 2. Well, that would be everything to the left of the number 2. So now we've got uh, a number line that corresponds to the interval x less than or equal to 2. In B, it says x needs to be greater than negative 3. Okay, so negative infinity, positive infinity, there's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Since it has to be strictly greater than negative 3, what we do to indicate that it can't equal that number is we use an open circle. So an open circle to indicate that we don't use negative 3, but that's... that's uh, that's right where we start, though. We take every number that's even just a little bitty, bitty bit greater than negative 3, and we would include that. So open circle, shade to the right. Lastly, in part C, it says we need to shade the interval of numbers that's greater than negative 4, but less than or equal to positive 1. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3... Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, same idea. It has to be strictly greater than negative 4. So I'm going to put an open circle there. Less than or equal to positive 1. So since it can be equal to, we'll use a solid dot. And then it says it's numbers in between those two numbers. So we'll shade everything that's strictly greater than negative 4 and less than or equal to positive 1. So that would be our number line that corresponds to our inequality in part C.